This slide summarizes the list of the table in BS8110, which are used to determine the moment and the share loads acting on the slabs. Table 3.12 is used for one-way continuous slab to determine the moment and share loads. As for simply supported two-way slab, Table 3.13 is referred. From the table, we obtain the alpha SS and alpha SY to be substituted into these equations to determine the moment acting on the member. As for two-way restraint slab, Table 3.14 and Table 3.15 are referred. 3.14 is used to calculate the moment acting on the slab, while table 3.15 is used to determine the shear loads acting on the slab. This table can also be used to determine the loads acting on the beam. This table shows a summaries of the applications of the table in BS8110. We have beam and slab as the structural element and this element can be simply supported and continuous. As it is simply supported, the calculation is relatively easy. Therefore, the shear force and bending moment diagram of the beam can be obtained through simple calculations. The shear load and also the one-way slab for the simply supported, it can also be obtained from simple calculations. As for the two-way slab, if it is simply supported, we can obtain the moment by referring to table 3.13. The UDL can be obtained from table 3.15 acting on the beam. And 3.15 is for the shear loads, 3.14 is for the moment, and 3.12 is for the one-way continuous slab. For the continuous beam, you may refer to table 3.15, or you can use the moment distribution methods for you to determine the shear force and bending moment diagram.